Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with some more DIY skincare, which I love to do on my channel. And today we're doing some fall themed skincare. So keep your eyes out for more skincare videos coming soon. But today we are sticking with the DIY and going for some fall and winter friendly options. So let's jump right in. So I'm gonna start with some pumpkin spice lip balm, which is really great for the colder months. We have one and a half teaspoons of beeswax and two teaspoons of coconut oil. one teaspoon of cocoa butter, and one tablespoon of pumpkin seed oil. Now I'm adding this to a double boiler, or in my case, I'm just using a bowl, and I'm putting that over a pan that has some water boiling underneath. So it's basically going to steam your ingredients until they melt. Once they've melted together and they're incorporated, you're gonna pull that off of the heat, and you're gonna let it cool down for a little bit, and then you're gonna add a dash of vitamin E oil, some cinnamon essential oil, clove essential oil, and then I'm adding just a dash of pumpkin spice. I have an old spice container that I just washed out and I'm gonna recycle and I'm gonna put the melted ingredients inside of that and allow it to completely solidify and then you have your pumpkin spice lip balm, perfect for the fall and winter months. Next, we have some moisturizing hand soap. What I have first is a 16 ounce foaming soap dispenser, which you can find at Target. Then I have one fourth of a cup of unscented liquid castile soap. I'm adding one tablespoon of vegetable glycerin and one tablespoon of either sweet almond oil or vitamin E oil. In this case, I am using vitamin E because I happen to have it. And then I'm gonna add my essential oil mix. For this one, I'm using six drops of frankincense, six drops of cedarwood, six drops of wild orange essential oil, and six drops of rosemary essential oil. But I'm just mixing this together and then I'm gonna fill the rest with water. So you can add a little bit when it comes time to washing your hands. It'll foam up and make a really nice hand wash. Next, I'm making some pumpkin spice whipped body butter. It's pretty easy to make. I've made whipped body butter before on my channel, but we're starting with some shea butter. You're gonna want a half of a cup of shea butter, a fourth of a cup of coconut oil, and two tablespoons of almond oil. I'm gonna allow that to melt over a double boiler, and then once it's completely melted, I'm gonna pull it off and add a few other ingredients. Once it has had a chance to cool down for a few minutes, I'm gonna add a little bit of pumpkin pie spice and some vitamin E oil, and then a little tiny bit of vanilla extract. So I think I added about one teaspoon of vanilla extract and about two teaspoons of vitamin E oil or capsules if you happen to have capsules. So I'm gonna mix that together and then I'm gonna allow that to solidify. Now you can make lotion bars, um, but you can also whip it with a KitchenAid so, or a hand mixer. So I'm just adding the entire solidified lotion bar to my mixer and I'm gonna go ahead and mix it on high. Now the more air you put into it, the more fluffy it's going to be. You can make it a lotion or a body butter, or you can treat it like a lotion bar and just warm it in your hand and use it on your skin. And that leads me to the next recipe that we're gonna be making, which is vanilla lotion bars. Thank you. 
these vanilla bean lotion bars are really really easy to make all you need is cocoa butter two tablespoons of coconut oil and 10 drops of vanilla essential oil or you can use vanilla bean paste if you have it i'm just going to mix that together like i always do over the double boiler allow it to melt together Once it's completely melted, you can add it to molds. And the fun thing is you can choose whichever molds you like. So you can do heart molds or um, just whichever fun ones you can find. I just happen to have some round half circle molds that I really like. So I'm just going to pour that into there and allow it to solidify. And then you have lotion bars. These are really great to be kept in like Ziploc bags. I like to keep them in the refrigerator so they stay really solid. And then you warm them up between your hands. You can use them on yourself. I use them on Oliver for when he gets dry skin or scratches from playing outside. I like to try to moisturize his skin with something like this. That completes my fall and winter DIY skincare ideas. A lot of these ideas are interchangeable. Um, you can change the recipe to suit your needs and adjust the scents based on your liking. So hopefully you get some ideas and try them out. Thanks so much for watching my channel and I'll see you very soon in my next video.